Well, folks, welcome back, and we will continue this interesting conversation. We're, I mean, interesting and important mm -hmm. because health is the most valuable asset that we can have. Exactly. You know, you can have money, but if you don't have, have the health, you can't enjoy it. Exactly. So it's a very important asset. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking about water. Today I prepared uh, infused water. I used some grapefruits, tangerines, mm -hmm. cucumbers, mm -hmm. mint. It tastes pretty good. It's very yeah. refreshing. <laughs> very refreshing. Mm -hmm. How much water do you uh, drink per day? I usually drink at least a gallon of water. A gallon? A gallon of water for the day. From the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, I've had at least a gallon. Wow. And maybe at least half of that is during my workout. You know, when I'm in the gym, it's constantly replacing water. You sweat so much. So, um, like I was saying earlier, it's best just to travel with your water. Don't wait until you get thirsty. Just always have water with you so you can just sip on it throughout the day. And before you know it, by the end of the day, you know, your, your gallon's done. Okay. Well, Melissa, you know our meal today consists of mainly water, right? Mm -hmm. We call that onion soup. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make escabeche. Mm -hmm. And um, that is something that is also good when you're dieting, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, yeah that could be... Um good depends on how you prepare the meat as well you know you don't want to a lot of people brown their meat some people brown it in the oven or on the stove obviously the frying part you might want to use a healthier fat if you're going to kind of brown it on the stove versus okay. the oven so that might be the only adjustment that i might make to it oh how you fry it well right then because i don't fry it oh okay i usually uh boil it first mm -hmm. in the broth and then i put it in the oven and i um brown it. broil it oh, okay that's even so better too. so see so that eliminate the fat very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So See, there you go. This is a healthy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it is. It is a healthy meal. Mm -hmm. And onions are also good mm -hmm. for you. I think they're what we call those phytochemicals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they really help to take out toxins mm -hmm. and things like that out your body. Mm -hmm. So and of course the corn tortilla that you eat it with is good too because <laughs> that's a part of our diet. Oh, corn okay. tortilla, no flour, just corn. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, that's. You got your complete meal right there. All right. Your protein and your carb. <laughs> so we planned the right meal for you. Then. Exactly, yeah. All right. <laughs> you thought about me. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That's how it usually is on Taste of Belize. Most of the guests that come here, they don't know what we're having, but... Somewhere you you thought about works. my diet and mm -hmm. know that you don't want me to cheat on my diet. I appreciate the thought. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> that's why we, we... That's the way we do it here. Right, the you. last time we had our uh, Ras Indio, mm -hmm. and with him, I made some fish tea. Mm -hmm. He said, okay, so you know what I yeah. am, I guess. You're a Rasta man. I believe you're going like to enjoy fish. the fish. So <laughs> that's fish. what we're doing. So guys, we, um, we're we really enjoying this information. We're enjoying it. And it's something I definitely need to take into consideration because I myself need to lose some, some weight for health reasons. You know, as we get older, we need to take more care of our, um, our health, mm -hmm. our bodies. Because I really do not want to have to take a lot of meds for, for exactly. anything. Yeah. One step at a time. I was yes. suggesting walk up and down your stairs in your building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Every morning know. before you, you know, you have to make the time. Yeah. You, you run your body rugged all day long. You just take that 30 minutes to an hour every single day. It's 24 hours in a day. Can't complain. Oh, I'm not a morning person. Oh, I'm not a night person. Whatever. My suggestion to people, I said, okay, does working out make you tired or does it make you, um, you know, make you awake? Like for me, it wakes me up. So even though I have a hard time waking up in the morning, I'd rather wake up early in the morning and get it out the way because I'm going to have energy all day long. Mm -hmm. For people who work out, you know, knocks them out, put them to sleep, I would suggest working out at nighttime because mm -hmm. then in the evening you work out, you come home, take a shower, you sleep you good. Sleep. So, mm -hmm. you know, you just have to fit it in your schedule. See what works for you. What works for somebody might not work for you all the okay. time. So. All right. Well, Melissa, before we get into the kitchen, I'd like you to give us some details of your upcoming show. Um, well, my show is in about two weeks. It's April 12th. And it's going to be mm -hmm. at the Culver City Mem uh, Veterans Memorial Center. It's on Overland. Okay. Um, it's a pretty big show. It's with the NPC. This is my first time doing one in this category i've done bikini class which they want you to be um more toned but not muscular just you know look mm -hmm. small and petite and a little bit toned this class that i'm going to is figure so they want you to pose they want you to flex they want you to show your muscles okay <laughs> and so this is my first time doing this category i challenged myself this time to, you know do something different 
So that's the category that I'm doing. And like I said, it's going to be on April 12th. Um, admission is usually at the door. There's two shows. The morning show is the pre-judging show where the judges pretty much judge every single class. There's going to be at least three, 400 competitors. It's wow. a big event. <laughs> it's a huge event. So at least 300 competitors. They're always big and they're always long. So okay. um, I would advise, you know, people want to come see that you come to the morning show or the evening show. By the evening show, you'll know who the winners are. Okay. You no, know, they hand out the trophies and stuff. So if you just want to see who won, come to the evening show. Okay. And then if you, you know, you want to come in the morning, you kind of have an idea too, but it's not official who the winners are. Mm, the okay. Evening, so. All right. So how do you, how did you qualify for the show? Uh, anybody can qualify. This is the regional level. Okay. So you submit an application, you get a member, you pay for your membership. You decide what category they break it down into categories. Like I'm going to um, compete in two different categories. One is the open where I'm just competing with every single girl. Okay. And then I'm going to break it down by my age group. Um, should I say my age? <laughs> <laughs> I might not look it, but so I'll get away with it. I'm 35. I'm 36. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm going to be 37 wow. this year. My so goodness. 37, two kids. And so I'm going to um, enter wow. into the category that's 35 and over also. So okay. competing with people my age as well as young and old. So two different categories. So those are the ones that I'm um, going to be in. Oh, well, we wish you good luck. Thank on you. That, I appreciate Lisa. it. And I know you look great. Thank so you. I expect that you will do pretty well. Thank you. I really like, would like to see you get <laughs> that first place yeah, I'm, going, I'm going for first place <laughs> overall. Represent the least. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we wish you all the best on that show. Thank and you. um we will we will definitely try to be there and we will definitely try to share the results all right thank it. you and i hope that you know. all right so this has been a wonderful um afternoon and next we will be heading to the kitchen so we will see you in the kitchen in a few minutes thank you